Hey, Alex here. We're going to learn how to outline an object or a person just like this in Premiere Pro. We will be using the Object Mask tool in Premiere Pro Beta, so make sure you have Premiere Pro Beta installed and launched. And I'm currently running version 25.6 at the moment of this video. We're a pretty new channel, so if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out our Phantom plugin for Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro Beta, I already have my sequence and clip set up, and this is what we're going to work with. First, have your clip selected, and at the bottom left hand corner, you have the Object Mask tool. Let's click on it, and right away, we can select the different subjects that we want to highlight. In this case, we're going to highlight the one in the middle, of course. Zooming in a little bit, I can see that her hand is a little bit cut off. To make the adjustment, clicking on the lasso tool, I can circle the part where it's missing and add that back into the mask. This looks great. However, I see that there is a small section on her left, which cuts into the background of the logo. To remove that, we're going to select the negative tool and select that part and try to remove it the best we can. In the effects control panel, we can select the object mass and to track the mass back and forth, we're going to click this button right here. And let's play the sequence back a little bit. We can see that it does a really good job on the mass tracking. I can also change the color of the tracking if I want to maybe blue, which will make this a little bit easier to see. Next, in order to create the outline effect, we're going to copy the clip two times. One and two. We're going to first work on the top layer. Let me select both clips below and disable it. In the top clip, we're going to click on object mask. I'm going to right click and copy and I'm going to paste it in opacity. So this is going to apply the effect only to the opacity and this is how it currently looks like. Next, we're going to work on the outline effect of the subject. We're going to toggle back the second layer by clicking enable and I'm going to disable the first layer. In the effects panel, we're going to search up strobe light and add it to our clip. Adobe is pretty smart now, and once I added the effect, the unassigned mass has already transferred to the strobe light effect. Let me organize this a little bit better and scroll down. And now we're going to go to strobe period and we're going to change it to 100. This is going to align the subject with the color that you have chosen. In this case, we have strobe color white, but we can also make it to red if we wanted to. But in this case, we're going to change it back to white. Now going back to the object mask, make sure that it's under the strobe light and we're going to change it to 25. In our sequence, we're going to enable the first top of the clip and right away we can see this outline effect on the subject. On the top clip, we're going to go back to the effects control panel and in our object mask, we're going to expand it to something like 10. And now we have this outline effect for the subject. And this looks really great so far, but we can add some transition effects to make this even better. So going to our first layer, we're going to make sure this is enabled. Going back to the effects panel, we can search up wipe and you can find a wide variety of different transitions we can use. In this case, we can try the linear wipe impact and let's play it back. Looks pretty good. Let's slow it down a bit. Or we could try the clock wipe impact as well. And there you have it. If you find this tutorial useful, make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more.